about my drinking? You aren't even gonna ask me to give it up? No. In that case, come in. What's the occasion? Curious to see the household freak in his native land? You said you wondered how my eyes would look when they were wide open. Oh, so that's the occasion. The bloom is off the rose, the butterfly has lost its wings. And there are holes in the image of Eva. Large holes, small ones. Large. That's the way it goes. You are disenchanted with Eva. I'm married to her. She told me how you came to be married. I doubt it, not the real version. The real version is rather ugly. I met her in Chicago on a business trip. We loved each other. It was slightly insane, and then it was over. But Eva doesn't believe in goodbyes. She told me a very convincing and somewhat old-fashioned lie. It was very frantic and appealing and wistful. I fancied myself a decent man. Within a week, I knew I'd been gulled as neatly as any hayseed at a country carnival real vision. You could have broken away. Very sensible suggestion. We even discussed the possibility on one occasion in an automobile. It was a short discussion. After what I found out, I was going to be a family man. And since I am rather old-fashioned, we've been happily married ever since, just like in the storybooks. As for me, I found the perfect escape from literature. All I have to cope with now is an occasional hangover. I've come to you for help. Me? That's rather amusing. Eve is trying to stop Carol from marrying John. Predictable for various reasons. You can't just hide away in here and let it happen. I wish you'd never come to this house. I'm sorry you don't like me. I'll do what I can about Eva. I've never been able to do much, but I'll do what I can. I'll come out of hiding. You can tell Miss George I'll be down for dinner. I'll talk to Carol and Judd and Eva, if necessary. I'll take charge. Is that what you want? That's not everything. I wish I could help you. I wish you'd try and like me just a little. Not much good in that's a fact. Get away from me. I thought you were aware by this time that I'm not someone to be sent for like a kitchen maid. Are you drunker than usual, or have you lost all sense of courtesy? I make it one of my rare appearances as head of the household. Quite an occasion. And what am I supposed to be? I don't think we'll go into that. Sit down. Sit down, my dear. I've been discussing things with Carol and Judd. I've made a decision. Really? A whole decision all by yourself? I don't intend to argue with you. 
I've told them I don't believe in long engagements. Well, I can't very well argue against that. We didn't have a long engagement, and look how idyllic we are. Exactly. They're willing to get married immediately, and I've asked them to do so. I'm very happy for both of them. Thrilled, in fact. We knew we could count on your blessing. There's just one little thing. I, I know it sounds terrible, but with everything happening so quickly, won't people wonder and talk? People will talk, you know. Without reason, of course. There isn't any reason, is there? No, Eva. Not the way you mean. This may come as a surprise to you, but the only reason we're getting married is because we love each other. Just thought I'd ask. Do you know how people are? Whatever you are, Eva, you're on wheels. We regard the matter as settled. The wedding will take place on Sunday. Of course, darling. Whatever you say. Now you can go back to your drinking. It'll make you feel more at home. Oh, Eva. You should have been here. Beauty's been making decisions all by himself about Carol and Judd. They're getting married right away. Oh, that's wonderful. I was hoping they wouldn't wait. Oh, I'm so happy for them. I don't know what that...